But let's talk about Drake London. Let's talk about the Falcons real quick. Number eight pick in the draft. To me, he was my number one wide receiver, so I'm happy to see him get picked. I, I thought the Falcons, all this defensive talk, I thought they should have went edge rusher or maybe they would have went with Kyle Hamilton. I, I like the Kyle Hamilton pick, and, and shout out to you, Blake. I love the video you did on him and, and the Ravens, how the Ravens always draft smart. Sean, what's your thoughts on Drake London? Did you like the pick? How did you feel about the Falcons' first-round pick? Yeah, well, you know, with Drake London, again, he's a big body receiver, and they haven't had that really since Julio's departure. You know, we see Kyle Pitts, obviously, you know, he comes in, but he's more of the tight end. I mean, obviously, he can play you know, he can play receiver as well. We've seen him in the flex, um, you know, uh, last season with the Falcons in his rookie year. But, you know, Drake London, hey, you get you get, you got two big body receivers, 6'4", I believe is what, at least maybe 215, 220, they said, maybe even bigger. Um, you know, 88 receptions last year, over 1,000. Um, almost 1,100 receiving yards, seven touchdowns. So it's it's a good move for the Falcons. You know, not necessarily the fastest guy. I think he might got a four, five, four, six in the forty. But at the same time, I mean, hey, you know, when you get in the, you get in the lead and the people are actually chasing you, we seen what, we seen what Jerry Rice was four seven um, in the forty, but he probably been like a four four in the field. So it's different when you're out there on the field like, like competing against a guy. So you know, with the Falcons getting him the first pick, I mean, I just see that hey. Calvin really, we know he's not going to be here this season. We don't know what the future is with him. That's why they want first round pick, you know, to get a a, a, a Drake London. We seen last year why, why they went to get Kyle Pitts because they already knew the Julio deal. That he, you know, he's about to get departure. Um, he he's about to leave and go to Tennessee. So I think with this, it's just about Katina have that offense and Katina help help out with um you know Marcus Mariota and that Marcus Mariota and um you know just get him more comfortable in the offense. You know, he played with uh, Arthur Smith also in Tennessee. That's Marcus Mariota um, back when he was there at, uh, as a Tennessee quarterback. So, you know, given – I feel like, you know, with guys that necessarily aren't the most accurate of quarterbacks or the best quarterbacks when it comes towards throwing, even though I like the Marcus Mariota pickup, you want to have big guys, tall guys who can stretch, you know, their hands out and, you know, snack, snack passes because, hey, it might be tough to get, you know, t- t- uh, to the smaller guys like a – um, you know, uh, Calvin Ridley, some of the some of the smaller receivers on the team. So I like to pick up Jansen. I understand with the edge rush, but hey, that's why you know you got the whole draft. So I was okay with it. Absolutely, Blake. Your thoughts on Drake London going number eight? Yeah, I thought I thought it was a solid pickup. Uh, you know, I like Drake London. He wasn't my top receiver. Um, in, in my opinion, I think we talked about this a little bit a few weeks ago, Jansen. But uh, you know, I would have went Jamison Williams. Um, you know, I kind of like a variety in the receiver room. Uh, I understand Kyle Pitts is a tight end, but, uh, you know, he still kind of does the same thing uh, as far as, you know, receiving the ball. He's kind of a big bodied receiver, possession type guy. You got Calvin Ridley, who's an excellent route runner. So I would have liked to see them get that deep threat. Obviously, Ridley uh, wouldn't be on the field and all, and, and Jamison either. Uh, so, I mean, it really depends on what that what that coaching staff wanted. I um, mean, yeah, it, yeah, it's easy to go ahead and say, hey, we're just going to tank this year. And then, you know, Jamison, go ahead and get healthy. That's kind of the GM's mindset, but Arthur Smith, I'm sure, is just like, <laughs> no, I don't want to. I don't want to just throw the season out the, down the drain. So um, I thought it was a solid pickup. Um, yeah, and, uh, I also like the uh, them coming back to get uh, uh, Ritter uh, down in the in the third round. I think it'll be good that they can actually grow together. Uh, similar skill set to Marcus Mariota. So um, I, I I look at Drake Lennon like he's he can be that wide receiver one by by the year by the end of the year. Uh, I see about nine hundred to a thousand yards this year, uh, as like provided he stays healthy. So um, I thought it was a solid pickup. Absolutely. Look, if he stays healthy, he could be a guy to solve some of those red zone issues. Falcons have had red zone issues, and I, I like it, man. It looks looks when you watch him play, can make some big time catches, contested catches. He can make some plays down the field. However, the question is going to be, can Marcus Mariota give him the ball? Is Marcus Mariota going to be healthy? That's why I think Ritter will probably start by week eight or week nine. If we, we see an injury, of course, don't want him to be injured, but Marcus Mariota is prone to be hurt. So don't be surprised if Ritter steps in there. Can he deliver the ball? But they're looking at it like we're going to play jump ball, Kyle Pitts, a lot of Mossing type of plays, and that's the receiver Drake London is. Now, to me, maybe they should have traded up and got a Kayvon Thibodeau. He, he would have been a great pick. I thought maybe a safety, Kyle Hamilton, how dynamic he is. We always talk about how the Falcons' defense is terrible or just playing out. Let's just be real. Sucks, right? So why why are they using the premier picks on offense, receiver? It's, but to me, we're always talking about how they can't get the, up to the pass rush. 18 sacks, that was terrible. Clearly the worst in the league. So why they only not had 18 sacks last year? Yeah, they had 18 sacks. Wow. 
I didn't, oh, I didn't that's, even realize that's that. horrible. That, that's Ooh. terrible. You're just you, you're not putting pressure on the quarterback. That's terrible. I don't know what some of those guys are doing. How you just you're not really earning a paycheck. That's just really bad. But let me get off of that. I just thought that first round pick should have been an edge rusher or Kyle Hamilton, who could do multiple things. Kyle Hamilton get after the quarterback, could cover multiple positions. I think he could hit. He's fast. I like him. I think he plays faster on the field than he does in a forty time. But people like the forty gets on the head. I don't know that. Maybe that's why he dropped. I, I don't get it. I think he's going to be a guy who's going to be a pro bowler each and every year. But We'll see how things play out. I do like Drake London. He was my number one guy on at the wide receiver position. We'll see what Arthur Smith, he, he's happy. But we'll, we'll see if they can get to the quarterback this year.